Hi everybody, Al Bernstein here with another one of my video blogs and in this one we're going to talk about the middleweight division. Now it's a division in which Gennady Golovkin sits atop a perch that I don't think anybody disputes. Uh, he is the best middleweight in the world. Uh, Miguel Cotto has titles, but most people don't consider him nearly as good as Golovkin at 160 pounds. Then there are a series of fighters underneath, the Andy Lees, the uh, Peter Quillins, and now a new face that I think has started to breathe life into the middleweight division. His name is David Lemieux, who has been around the division for a while and has had very exciting fights, but has matriculated back up to the top of the division after losing a couple of fights. Uh, and now this powerful young Canadian with a really good win over Hassan Endam uh, has shown us that he can be a very exciting fighter and could be someone who could make an exciting fight with Gennady Golovkin. Now, David Lemieux's style doesn't really help him in the Golovkin fight because if you're a slugger and you stand in front of Gennady Golovkin, it's probably going to be a problem for you. However, in this case, David Lemieux is so quick and so powerful that we could have a fun fight if he was to fight Gennady Golovkin, however long it lasts. Now, uh, Lemieux wants to defend his version of the middleweight crown once or twice before he uh, decides to step in with Golovkin, but he and his promoter, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, are talking about trying to make the Golovkin fight sometime next year, maybe in the second quarter of the year. So if Lemieux can win one or two, one fight, maybe two fights, Golovkin stays undefeated, that's a fight to look forward to in the middleweight division. It will not last more than five or six rounds, in my opinion. Chances are Golovkin will probably win, but I'll tell you what, it'll be a lot of fun while it lasts.